from the planet Hondo. We are Future Folk. Earth Day! Oh, well, I grew up on my planet farming space worms. I want you to rock this place out every night. Here on Earth, as far as I can discern. Have your parents to license your social security number. None of them come up on our computer. What can I do? Why not just tell her you're from Hondo? Earth is a complicated place. So are its women. Honey, I'll be good to you. You. Oh, well, I grew up on my planet forming space worms. Where space worms can always be found. Here on Earth, as far as I can discern, they're just hate the worms. Space worms are really, you really from outer space. I hope that's not a problem. I have no idea what's going on with you. Everything will be okay. Hondo. Hondo. Looking at a little trailer of the history of future folk here with John O'Neill from the Vale Symposium. So this is going to be the last film as part of your summer series, is that right? This is it. Okay, so first of all, tell us about the Vale Symposium. Well, the Symposium, we've been around for a long time, and we're known for our thought leadership in the Valley. That's sort of our mission, is to put on these programs that make you think. So. The movies are a small departure from that. We've had two so far this summer. Both have been packed at Little Beach Park, Under the Stars, in Minturn, uh, and hopefully tonight we'll, we'll follow, or sorry, tomorrow night we'll follow suit with that. Nice. And so this film, what, what makes it so special? What, what made you guys choose to make this part of your programming? We saw it, and it's really hilarious. You just saw the trailer for it, and you've seen the, the reviews that popped up there from some of the biggest reviewing houses out there. People loved it, um, which is crazy for such a small, it was an independently made movie um, by a writer-director out of New York named John Mitchell, uh, who's actually going to show up and introduce the film, um, which will be really fun to have him here. We offered him a uh, time to come out to Vail and who can say no to that uh, so, yeah I know <laughs> so it'll be really special to have him out here but it's it's really it's it's funny and it's just it's so original that you just you can't help but smile and, and really love it and fall in love with the movie um, I, I talked to John Mitchell about that uh, and he said that that's what what he was aiming for that he didn't want to do another comic book movie you know Hollywood's kind of going through this originality drought where they're just making movies out of books, they're just making movies of out of comic right books, now. remakes, yeah. everything. So this, you sit down and there, I mean, there's nothing <laughs> like it. Uh, you've never seen an alien movie that forms into a bluegrass band <laughs> before. No, definitely not, definitely not. So, okay, so where is it taking place? It'll be at Little Beach Park in Minturn. We open the doors at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Um, John Mitchell introduced the film at 8.15, and then the film will actually start at 8.30 p.m tomorrow night at Little Beach Park. Perfect. So uh, obviously you want to make sure that you bring a blanket out there, maybe bring a raincoat just in case. Yeah, maybe, maybe just in case. We looked at the weather. It's saying like a 5 to 10 percent chance of rain starting at 730 on Saturday night. So we're pretty optimistic that that'll just yeah. burn off. And I think be you guys have night. some good connections. The Vail Symposium and Mother Nature. <laughs> you guys are, kind of work together with this. So oh. for tickets, how do people, do they just, can you just show up? Do you have to get tickets ahead of time? No, it's work? totally free. Um, the whole film series has been free. Uh, it's something that we do with the town of Minturn. So come on out. You just, yeah, bring a blanket. You can bring some food if you want. We're going to grill hamburgers and hot dogs. And then we sell beer from Crazy Mountain Brewery for just $2. Uh, you can't bring outside alcohol uh, because of our liquor license, unfortunately, uh, but we're going to have great beer deals, so you'll be 
plenty happy with that. I love it. Grilling out, watching a movie right underneath the stars in Minter, and you really can't beat it. And of course, the price is amazing. Free. Free. You love know? it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't. You yeah. can't be free, and and no. it, it is such a spectacular place. The first two. Uh, films that we screened there. We had some of the writers and producers out for those films and unanimously agreed that they had never screened their movie in a more beautiful place. Oh gosh, of course. Oh, John, thank you so much for coming on and sharing. And just really quickly, uh, you, you guys have a very busy season coming up after this. This might be the last film, but there's so much more still in store. So if people want to find the full schedule and, and get involved in a lot of your other upcoming events, where do they go? So you can just go to veilsymposium.org. We're going to have nine more programs coming up this September and just a few more in October. We're going to dive back into that thought-provoking uh, intellectual programming that we normally do. So the heart of the Vail Symposium is still you know, beating strong in September and October. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Make sure to check out that movie coming up tomorrow night. Coming up right after this, Gabe Hogan has a look at your local weather forecast. So don't go away.